I think that when we talk about self love, it's important to make the distinction between like what what I used to see as self love and what I see as self love now. And I'm sure you guys would have something to say about like the destructive nature of of what we think is is yeah before for me it was i loved me some me right right right. and that was as fake as it all could be right and through these processes and, and doing a lot of work and you know the daily habits I'm building somebody that I actually do love because mm-hmm. that that's a guy that I want to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Whereas before, I was just being a guy in love with himself and doing what I wanted, and it didn't matter who got hurt along the way or had to pay for it or bail me out 1,700 times. <laughs> yeah, and that's actually, that's a great, I mean, that's a great way to, to, to think about that is like before it's like all sort of, egomaniac and selfishness as opposed to self-love where it's like now like you said you're you're building a person that that you want to be so that you can love yourself whereas before it was all just selfishness it was all it was all me 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 but you know also i hated me you know it's interesting you know, and, and as, as life goes on, you know, sobriety and, you know, this development of, of personality, this, this personal development path that we're on, you know, because I think, I think sobriety is in itself a uh, course in, in personal development, right? I think uh, it's almost impossible to only get sober and, and maintain unhealthy sexual relationships, uh, maintain this this really horrible eating pattern uh maintain you know just just negative thinking it it seems almost impossible you know at least in the in the um, arena that i'm in everybody moves past sobriety they get sober and then they start working on other areas of their life they're like i don't want to be broke for the rest of my life Mm -hmm. you know i don't i don't want to fucking die choking on a ham sandwich you know i don't want my kids to see me as, you know, a piece of shit. And so it starts with sobriety and then all these things start developing on that. And, you know, it's been what, five months now that there's been two fathers and sometimes three on this side of the table. And one of the things that I continually think about as part of my process is I want to be the kind of dad that I would want raising my children. And, and when I look at it like that, Right. Then I'm able to step back from myself because because sometimes seeing me in that position is Mm -hmm. hard. Yeah. Right. Because I have all this, you know, you know, over 40 years of, of, of thinking pattern about myself. But if I can step away from that and go, okay, if I wasn't here, what kind of man would I want to be taking care of my wife who I love? If I wasn't here, what kind of man would I want raising my children? If I wasn't here, what kind of partner would I want? Cameron to have on on this side of the table with him and then I can look at myself objectively right and and I can kind of get an idea of the type of person that I want to be and from that idea I can start looking at directions to create that right does that make sense would you agree absolutely yeah absolutely I think that that's a that's a great way to to look at that in order to see what what kind of person that you want to be 